Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to take a closer look at the evolution of jewelry and fashion throughout history. From ancient civilizations to modern day, jewelry has played a significant role in how we express ourselves and our personal style. Join us as we explore the function of jewelry in various fashion eras and how it has evolved over time. Jewelry has been worn by humans for thousands of years, with the earliest known examples dating back to ancient civilizations such as Egypt, Greece, and Rome. Throughout history, jewelry has been used for a variety of purposes, including as a symbol of wealth and status, as a form of personal adornment, and as a means of expressing cultural or religious beliefs. In this video, we will take a closer look at the function of jewelry in various fashion eras, examining how it has evolved over time and how it has been used to reflect the trends and cultural influences of each era. The ancient Egyptians are known for their intricate and beautiful jewelry, which was often made from gold and precious stones such as lapis, lazuli and turquoise. Jewelry was worn by both men and women, and was often used to symbolize wealth and status. For example, pharaohs and other members of the royal family would wear large, ornate necklaces and bracelets to display their power and prestige. Jewelry was also used in religious and ceremonial contexts, with amulets and talismans worn to protect against evil spirits and bring good luck. In ancient Greece and Rome, jewelry was worn by both men and women, but was more commonly associated with women. Jewelry was often made from gold and precious stones, and was often used to symbolize wealth and status. For example, Roman matrons would wear large, ornate earrings and necklaces to display their wealth and prestige. Jewelry was also used in religious and ceremonial contexts, with amulets and talismans worn to protect against evil spirits and bring good luck. During the Middle Ages, jewelry was worn by both men and women, but was more commonly associated with women. Jewelry was often made from gold and precious stones, and was often used to symbolize wealth and status. For example, queens and other members of the royal family would wear large, ornate necklaces and bracelets to display their power and prestige. Jewelry was also used in religious and ceremonial contexts, with religious symbols such as crosses and other Christian symbols worn to show devotion. In the Renaissance, jewelry was worn by both men and women, but was more commonly associated with women. Jewelry was often made from gold and precious stones, and was often used to symbolize wealth and status. For example, wealthy merchants and other members of the upper class would wear large, ornate necklaces and bracelets to display their wealth and prestige. Jewelry was also used in religious and ceremonial contexts, with religious symbols such as crosses and other Christian symbols worn to show devotion. In the Baroque and Rococo eras, jewelry was worn by both men and women, but was more commonly associated with women. Jewelry was often made from gold and precious stones, and was often used to symbolize wealth and status. For example, queens and other members of the royal family would wear large, ornate necklaces and bracelets to display their power and prestige. Religious and ceremonial contexts also made use of jewelry, with Christian devotion expressed by the wearing of crosses and other religious symbols. Ion. In the 19th century, jewelry was worn by both men and women, but was more commonly associated with women. Jewelry was often made from gold and precious stones, and was often used to symbolize wealth and status. For example, wealthy merchants and other members of the upper class would wear large, ornate necklaces and bracelets to display their wealth and prestige. Jewelry was also used in religious and ceremonial contexts, with religious symbols. In the 20th century, jewelry became more diverse, reflecting the changing styles and cultural influences of the time. The Art Nouveau movement, which emerged in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, brought a new focus on natural forms and organic shapes in jewelry design. This style was characterized by flowing lines, curving shapes, and intricate details, and was often inspired by nature. The Art Deco movement, which emerged in the 1920s and 1930s, brought a more geometric and angular approach to jewelry design. This style was characterized by bold, geometric shapes, clean lines, and bright colors. It was often inspired by the latest technological advances, such as the rise of the automobile and the use of new materials such as plastic. In the 1950s and 1960s, jewelry became more playful and whimsical, reflecting the changing attitudes of the time. 
The rise of the teenager as a distinct demographic group led to a new focus on jewellery that was fun, colourful and affordable. The use of materials such as plastic and costume jewellery allowed for a wider range of designs and price points, making jewellery more accessible to a broader range of people. In recent years, there has been a renewed interest in vintage and antique jewellery, as well as a focus on sustainable and ethically made jewellery. The rise of online marketplaces and social media has made it easier for consumers to discover and purchase vintage and antique jewellery, while the growing awareness of environmental and social issues has led to a renewed interest in sustainable and ethically made jewellery. Jewellery has played an important role throughout history, serving as a symbol of wealth and status, as a form of personal adornment, and as a means of expressing cultural or religious beliefs. From the intricate and beautiful jewellery of ancient Egypt to the playful and whimsical designs of the 1950s and 1960s, jewellery has evolved over time to reflect the trends and cultural influences of each era. Today, we see a renewed interest in vintage and antique jewellery, as well as a focus on sustainable and ethically made jewellery, reflecting the changing attitudes and values of our time. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning about the evolution of jewellery and fashion. Make sure to subscribe for more videos on fashion and style. Don't forget to comment below and let us know which fashion era you're most interested in exploring next.